Okay. So, I took my piece of plywood, which was square up on the end. I set it up here, took a measurements from the top, and then I marked my measurement at the bottom. Used my adjustable angle. Got my angle up there. Then I made a rough cut of that angle. And then I set it up there. And then I made me a little, little scribe. And I set it on the, on the wall. And I traced the, the outline of the wall. The wall has just a little bit of a curve to it. And then I've got this little crease right here on the front. So I had to make a notch for that. So, uh, see if I can't get in here and show you now that once I scribed my line and I just took a plane, you could take a sanding block, a, a, a little grinder or a bandsaw or a jigsaw, and you can trim it back to that line. And that's what I did. So I trimmed it and I set it on there. And now I've got a nice flush against the wall. I'm not really too concerned about whether or not there was any gaps. I think I'm going to end up putting molding all the way around all the benches anyway. So, uh, But that is a plus that it does sit flush. So next thing is now I'm going to scribe the inside here and uh, trim that back. I think about a sixteenth and call that good. Okay. So I've got my piece of paneling ready to be installed. I scribed it to fit the front. It fits the back flush. And like I said, I'm not too worried about the, the corners because there's going to be a molding over top of the edges. And then it sits flush along the top. So uh, just like I did on the back piece, I'll go behind with a pencil, mark all the areas so I know where to spread my glue, and then we'll uh, We'll staple this bad boy on here. But before I did that, what I did is I took this piece and I set it on this side. And the idea was to see whether or not the two sides matched. And lo and behold, they show enough did. So, with that said, uh, I took this piece and I laid it face down on top of the other one and I marked all the way around it. So when I cut that piece out, it's going to be exact mirror image of this piece. So when I cut it, trim it, I know it'll fit. So, let's go ahead and get this lined out. I have my staple gun ready. Now let's uh, tack this on. Perfect. Voila. One side done. Okay. We'll cut the other side and we'll be right back. Okay. Now with both sides cut, one side's already fastened. And I took the other one. <clears throat> and uh, trimmed it and it fits just fine. All right, check my bullets, plenty of bullets and set that in place. Okay, all right, push it against the wall, make sure everything's flush. Oh yeah, nice. That's nice. I'm going to tack that. Okay. Well, with that step complete, so I've got my paneling on both sides of the, of the dinette. Next is to take my birch plywood, put on top, I'll trim it against the wall, and then I'll cut my two inch strip on the back, fasten my hinge um, so I can get a good location, take the hinge off, cut my strip for the back section, strip for the front, then fasten those and put my bench seat back on and attach the hinge. 
call it good. Should be ready for some paint. All right. So before my next task then, which is the top, is uh, now it's time to clean up, put things back uh, where they belong so I can start my next job. All right. Stay tuned. Well, like I said, if you uh, clean up after yourself after every big job, then uh, the next time you get ready to start your next job, everything's in its place and uh, makes it a little bit more enjoyable to come in and actually start working instead of having to clean up before you work. Plus, if you have all your tools laying around or uh, pieces of wood that you got glued together and you don't want to move, and a friend of yours comes over to visit and says, hey, can I see what you're doing? They're not tripping over your tools or breaking anything that uh, uh, you spend hours putting together. So that sure is a, a lifesaver on in some occasions. So I'll give you a quick view of what we got, run down what we're going to do for the next job, and uh, stay tuned. Well, we got finished what we wanted to get done. Our uh, goal was to get the side paneling on the benches done which we did. The next step will be the uh, actual seating area and that should go pretty quick. I still have to get uh, another piece of birch because when I was working on these I miscut one. That's why it's always good to measure twice and cut one um, so you don't end up with a scrap. Oh well. So I cleaned up all the uh, debris sawdust, all my tools are put away and uh, ready for the next time. And it comes in handy <laughs> to store all my tools out of the way so while I'm working I'm not tripping over all of my tools so we have everything uh, put away nice and neat so I know where to find them next time I get started. Plus if it uh, so happens that it takes me uh, a little bit longer to get back to the job. My tools aren't sitting out in the open. So, there it is. Nice and uh, clean and ready for the next job. Well, thanks for watching and uh, hope you find this entertaining or enjoyable or at least informative And as you watch the progress go. So, thanks for watching and as always, stay tuned.